it's a hard time for hiring. You need to hire a partner built for hard times. That's Indeed. If you're hiring, you need Indeed because Indeed is hiring partner where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. And Indeed is the only job site where you're guaranteed to find quality applications that meet your must-have requirements or else you don't pay. Instead of spending hours on multiple job sites hoping to find candidates with the right skills, you need one powerful hiring partner that can help you do it all. Indeed partners with you on every step of the hiring process. Find great talent through time-saving tools like Indeed Instamatch, assessments, and virtual interviews. With Instamatch, as soon as, you're, as you sponsor a post, you get a short list of qualified candidates with resumes on ED, Indeed that match your job description. And you can invite them to apply right away. Plus, you only pay for qualified applications that meet your must-have requirements. I literally just posted for um, hiring a personal assistant. Come on. And I can tell you within within three days, I had fifth, over 50 qualified applicants apply for the job. I was totally shocked. Some people, I was like, girl, you you need to have my job. <laughs> <laughs> Not the other way around. So it did make it a lot easier. People who were actually in the who lived in the area that I needed to live in with the qualifications that I needed them to have. And they were able to take assessments to let me know, okay, you know how to work Excel, you know how to do these things so that it's not somebody that I would interview and then realize, man, you can't even do the things I need you to do. Indeed made sure they knew how to do them before they became a qualified candidate for me. Indeed makes it easy to hire great talent according to Comscore. Indeed is the number one job site worldwide. And Indeed delivers four times more hires than all other job sites combined, including uh, according to Talent Nest in 2019. Join more than three million businesses worldwide that use Indeed to hire great talent talent fast start hiring right now with a 75 dollar sponsor job credit to upgrade your job post at indeed.com slash htt htt offer valid through march 31st go to indeed.com slash htt htt to claim your 75 dollars credit before march 31st indeed.com slash htt htt terms and conditions apply need to hire you need indeed and five, five four, four, three, two. What up, y'all? Welcome to his thing. I'm Kevin on stage. She's that chick angel. Welcome to another podcast episode. Smash that like button. Smash that notification button. Bangers, bangers, bangers on 2022. On 2022. 2022. Two. Two. Stupid. Real quick before we start, if you don't have the Kevin on stage studios app, what are you doing with what your life? What are you even doing? Do you believe in black creators? They don't. Do you believe in I love? I have the app love, because I love, believe love. in black creators. Uh, Tell me why uh, right now if you don't have it. <laughs> Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a uh, Tell me why. I need to know on, why. Because you're going to come around when these shows start popping and you ain't going to be a day one. You sure you're going to be late to the party. I'm going to be like, price. oh, now you join us. When everybody joined, but you wasn't, you wasn't down. You weren't with us shooting in the gym. Why wasn't you want to shoot with the jam? Right. All right. We have a smorgasbord, a kaleidoscope, a goulash of topics today. Kaleidoscope. There was nothing hugely huge since our bonus episode for Patreons and app subscribers only. But there was a lot of randomness. First Come thing on. that's random. Uh -huh. The Winter Olympics is happening right now. Is I have really? watched zero things. I haven't even watched my favorite Olympic sport, curling. Uh -huh. Curling is the best. Uh, it I haven't feels had time. like Winter Olympics is like a month. It is. And also we had the summer last year. You know, summer is the hot chick at the party. Of Winter course. is like the nerdy guy who's got zits, but he's going to <laughs> it's MIT. It's not that bad. It's it like the that girl bad. that if you take off her glasses, she's really cute, but she's got her glasses on. So you don't know. Cause if you get into it, it'd be good. But if you she don't, she just, like that. yeah, she takes off her glasses. You know how many like, movies they made like that when we were in high school? I felt like them. that plot line, I saw that like 15 times. Imagine what that <laughs> feels like being the girl with the glasses. And you're like, nope, I look the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was wonder, that girl. I haven't seen a movie like that in a minute where it's like, they literally had, I feel like I watched three movies where they made a bet. By the by, the prom. If you she, go to the oh, prom, yeah. she's gonna be pretty. She's gonna be gorgeous. 
<laughs> and she looked the exact same. They just put some makeup on her face. Oh it was like, oh, God. now she's pretty. And the funniest part is she doesn't know she's pretty. She's like, what? I don't know. And there's just like one tress of hair yeah. that's in the front. Jinkies. She's like, what? <laughs> you think I'm cute? She's all that is the movie that I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. But it feels like that happened in multiple. Uh, what was that girl's name? Do you know the actress? I ain't seen her in much. Come since. on. You asking me to name is, the name of an actress? This is the, this is the actress. This is the main movie I'm talking about. Oh, Paul Walker was in this? The rest of the High school hot shot Zach Seiler. <laughs> High school That's Freddie shot. Princess Jr.'s name is Zach Seiler. They didn't care but about But his popularity names. declined sharply when his cheerleader girlfriend, Taylor, leaves him for a sleazy reality television star, Brock Hudson. Brock Hudson! <laughs> Desperate to revive his fame reputation, Seiler agrees to seemingly impossible challenge. He has six weeks to gain the trust of a nerdy outcast, Lainey Boggs. But what are these names? <laughs> Lainey Boggs? Lainey Boggs. <laughs> That's not real. I did not realize that they gave her the stupidest name. Lainey Boggs. And help her become the school's next prom queen. $103 million. And I loved every second of it. Let me show you. I'm not going to let you hold this because wow. I can't trust you. Oh, I get too I'm excited? I'm going to show you. This is the, the, the seventh grade girl. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 It'll never die. <laughs> ah, Angel, please. No. Send it to Josh. I am not sending oh, this. Why do we find that picture and explain this? That's why I said y'all did. Let me oh, see, I Angel. I put it on social media. Angel, let me. Wait, I saw it on the. Huh? I, I, I think I saw it. Oh, no. Angel, let me see that picture of you. <laughs> How old were you? I was in seventh grade. Let I me think. see them glasses. <laughs> you see my little glasses? Angel glasses. <laughs> this is Angel's glasses. <laughs> Please, Angel. Oh, put it out for the it. world they to see. see it. Oh. They can see it. Oh, man. They, they just need to see it from afar. Yeah. All right. So, anyway, I don't know how we got on that subject, but. Uh, I don't either. So, anyway, in the um, Olympics, a Swede or a Swedish? Finnish. Finnish skier. Finn Remy suffers frozen penis huh? in a mass start race. Yes. Frozen peen? Wait frozen a second. Frozen penis. Frozen penis? Frozen. I thought we were about to talk about drugs. No, we're going to go back to the top. <laughs> Wait a second. Frozen penis. Um, he, I think they were racing in below, yeah, freezing winds. This? this is down way down on the docket. Oh. <laughs> Lenham spent just an hour and 16 minutes traversing the course and howling Freezing winds leading to his penis becoming frozen for the second time oh, no. in a cross country skiing race following a similar accident in Ruka, Finland last year. Well, I, it's uh, not worth it. And apparently, afterwards, he put a heat pack on his nether regions and he said that was actually more Damage. painful. Yes, I bet. Probably excruciating. Yes. Here's the thing that's crazy when I used to play football, uh, Little League, and we were cold, they, were, they would tell you to put your hands on your balls. Because that part is usually warmer than your hands. So the fact that his penis froze like solid and he, he like that happened more than once in his life. I guess he didn't need blue chew to get rock hard. Hey, oh, right? am I right? <laughs> this guy gets it. <laughs> Let me tell you what. I don't care if I'm the world's greatest athlete in this world. I am not suffering a frozen peen for any, there's nothing, there's no, there's no amount of gold. The Olympic, yeah, there's, there's, not, there's nothing. You the don't Olympic, get paid for it. You don't get paid for it. The sponsorships for, for cross-country skiing are non-existent. You were literally doing it for the exposure. Ayo! No, that was, I mean. I don't even like chap lips on my face. Right. To have chap lips in my in my draws from no there's no there's not i'd be like i'm good i'm Dog. good i just ski can we take away the snow just skiing on grass i can't i i just i i saw this and i was like man i just i'm built different i i will quit 
I think most people will. Uh, will you train for what? Three, four years for the Olympics? Three, four I, years? I guess so. Do you feel your peen freezing? There's got to He's got to be doing something wrong. Because yeah, because he was be, the only guy. Yeah, he doing something wrong. He must be cutting the. He got on them workout clothes. I was talking about. He must be with cutting the, 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 meat the cut hole out. out, and it's just out. Cause ain't nobody else complaining about this. Have you? When you were a kid, did you ever have like? Uh, when I moved from El Paso to Virginia, it was the first time I ever saw snow. First time I was ever around freezing temperatures ever. I went outside without enough stuff, obviously, because we went to move from El Paso to Virginia, and within. The, the first winter, it was uh, it was like the, one of the worst blizzards in Virginia's like 10, 15 years. It wasn't ever, but it had, hadn't been that bad in a while. Uh -huh. So we were unaccustomed to snow. I'd never seen snow, never seen ice like in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, never really seen that much green because El Paso looks mostly like this mm -hmm. everywhere. So I went outside like an idiot. Not, not an idiot. I just didn't know. Playing in the snow, there was like a brook that was going that I used to run through in the summer. I ran through it again in the winter. Feet got cold and wet. Uh, after like 20, 30 minutes, maybe an hour, I was like, man, I'm really cold. Like, I didn't have gloves on. I didn't have boots on. I just was out there playing. So my fingers started getting like really cold. Came home, turned the bath on hot and uh, hot water and just jumped in from freezing to hot. And when I tell you it felt like electricity was in my body, <laughs> right. I was like, this is the worst Thing ever my dad was really mad at me I was like you didn't prepare us with the right winter clothes <laughs> you didn't tell uh, us but we what were, we supposed to wear we were poor this was so cold the 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 leaf on the leaves the the ice had frozen on top mm -hmm. and you could take the leaf off and see yeah. the imprint of the leaf oh, mm -hmm. wow. and I was like dang and it was like frozen for it was like 10 days mm -hmm. it was snowy and icy and stuff and anyway that man basically had that happen but to his meat uh, That's why I'm saying he do something wrong. He's doing something wrong. Yeah, because Olympic wrong. people usually have the best of the best equipment. He's over here to taking his sponsorship money and putting it towards some rims or something. <laughs> he's supposed to be getting high quality, uh, you know, racing gear. And he's like, mm, what I'm going to do is put down a down payment on this car. You remember when that was the thing? I mean, when black people, all you do is spend your money on, well, still say Jordans. Jordans and rims. Remember when rims was like, Everything. I remember my, when I had my first apartment, my neighbor sold spinning rims at the mall. That was his I job. I always wanted some. They Did you? Spinning Absolutely. hubcaps. That's, let's be honest. Most people, they were like, can't afford the rims. Get these little spinning hubcaps. Do you remember oh, Dada man. Supreme? They had the rims on the shoes. Mm -mm. You don't remember this? Dada, Dada Supreme, or maybe it was just Dada. They had spinning rims on. Look it up, Angel. You'll see. I'm looking. They had spinning rims on the oh, shoe. Oh, yes. You remember these? Oh, Jesus. These I are mean, terrible. What a, what a time. He's from Finland. Somebody asked in the Patreon. Spinners were spinning rims, a.k.a. spinners. That was a, what was that, about five, six year? It had a chokehold on the community. And they were expensive. They were very expensive in like people's cars like i feel like if you get spinners your car has to be kind of over the top as well it doesn't work with regular cars people are like honda spinners people, right people had the the hubcap ones on the honda civics and oh it's yeah like they're not, they're not moving i wanted spinners but i drove a ford, a ford focus at the time oh and you got the hubcap ones never in my i just was like i felt like a ford focus wasn't the, no rapper was like, boy, you know this. Pulled up in that focus. Nobody ever rhymed <laughs> that. But you can be that. This man. was uh, <laughs> this was when uh, <clears throat> this is kind of how we know like how rap music is so powerful. Hummers, like an army, an army jeep. Yes. The first, I'm not even the H2. The H1 was first, mm. and that one really was the Just army the version. Army, yeah. Then the H2 came out, and the H2, I believe, had eight miles to the gallon. <laughs> oh, yeah, on a good day. If you're going eight downhill. miles to the... People had no equipment that large. No. Nothing, no reason to have that car. And, and they're not comfortable to ride in. They are not. No. At all. I've never been in one. Really? I've just heard this a lot. My, 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 my dad's friend had one. He was like, this thing gets eight miles to the gallon. It's not a comfortable ride. I just... That's how we stunned it. Now that car fit rims though. 
Mm -hmm. Like that car was, the, oh, my neighbor smoky. had that too. My neighbor had a H2 with spinners in the apartment next to me. We both were paying 585. Those were everywhere also, at one point though. Those H2s? Oh my gosh. H2s in uh and the Chrysler 300? Oh, oh man. The Chrysler 300 was taking over. I remember I was just thinking about this the other Wait day. Wait, man, you said in the apartment beside in the apartment you? Next okay, to me. This was, was Aspen like... Park. Oh, you weren't there. We went to Coma. We went there. I thought about this the other day and I was thinking about how much my first apartment was $585 oh, a night. I mean a, a, month. a month. And at that time, I remember being like Oh my God! Mm -hmm. How am I gonna come up with five hundred and eighty-five dollars? Mm -hmm. Yeah, every month. Yeah, I gotta put something away. I gotta put half my check away. <laughs> exactly. I had to put half happen. of my check away in the first, and half of this. I couldn't even pay the whole five eighty-five at one time. No, no. Five eighty-five, Angel. Do you remember your first apartment? My first apartment that I had. You know what? I've never got a chance to live by myself. Never? Melissa's never lived by herself either. No. I, because uh, in Kentucky, I had a roommate. Um, Marcus's sister was one of my roommates right before I moved here. Moved into college housing. And then when I moved up to Van Nuys, me and Marcus were getting engaged and he was moving out here. So my first adult apartment was $1,200. Dang. Come on, because it was L.A. Yeah, you lived in L.A. And it came with free roaches. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, thank you guys for throwing that in. It only, the kitchen only had one drawer. One drawer. How had cabinets you? galore. One drawer. So you put all your hot sauce plus the silverware in there? We had to get a rolling, like, cart that had two extra drawers on it. That's where the microwave sat in the little dinette area. Huh? And I just knew that we were going to get evicted at any moment. I was like, and then one day, then like one year they raised it to twelve fifty. I said, now come on. That's how my apartment was when they went from five eighty five to six oh five. I was like, I gotta move. Yeah. How am I gonna come up? Five eighty five is Im impossible. Six oh five. This is in Tacoma at Aspen Park. My apartment was underground, and I was just like, and I remember my first mortgage was eleven. Like sixty, it was if, right under twelve hundred dollars, and me and Melissa were like, "Oh man, if we if you take care of three hundred each right. time, and then I'll do three hundred, and we don't eat if we don't eat on Thursdays, you don't have to eat every Thursday. We don't have to. We went from our twelve hundred and fifty twelve hundred. Oh, excuse me, yeah, twelve hundred fifty thousand. Let me no, no, I said it right the first time. Twelve hundred dollar apartment into our first mortgage. Marcus can tell you the exact amount. But we went from twelve hundred to like twenty six something. When that woman told us the amount, because we didn't know that was gonna be the amount, you could feel the oxygen leaving the room because we're sitting in our Roach apartment signing the mortgage documents, and she flips to that page because this is before we knew what mortgage insurance meant. Mm. Because we didn't put no down, no down payment. BMI. We put so y'all knew the mortgage price. Yes. Oh, oh no, Angel. That's all we knew. Oh, they didn't walk you through it. We paid a hundred dollars as our earnest money. <laughs> <laughs> they said, "What y'all putting down?" I was like, "My smile." <laughs> and she's like, yeah, "It's gonna be like it was like twenty six eighty three. Marcus knows it to the penny. Dang. And that woman, like, wait, but you, but <laughs> why would it be that much? <laughs> right. I was like, what? And that woman, I thank the Lord for. I wish I could find her. She said, when she saw our reaction, because we were like, okay, how can we back out without getting sued? <laughs> <laughs> We've got to back out. She was like, one day you're going to look back at this and laugh at the fact that you thought you couldn't afford this. But you couldn't afford it at that time. No, we paid it every single time. I just didn't think we could. Mm, that's how we did. Because the thing that got us into a house is we were like, the only thing that's worse than apartments, I mean, the this rent payment or our mortgage payment is apartments just keep going up. Oh yeah. And we can't plan for that. At least we were like, at least it won't go above 1185, 1180, whatever. It was just right under 1200. We were like for the next 10 years, it won't go above that. So we just got to keep making more money. Yeah. You know, and then we had Joe and that's when we were like, 
Uh, oh my god. It's terrible. That's when we were paying more in daycare than we were paying in a uh, mortgage. I I can't believe it. It was like 2 grand I think we we're paying in daycare. That's why when oh, I got well. fired, we just I just stayed at yeah, home. There wasn't course. even really a, a much difference in our life. Listen, once we got that PMI off and we refinanced, we went from that 26 to 18. Mm. It dropped that drastically. Really? And we were like, shoo, we got all the coins. But no, I, then I wasn't working. So then it was like, well, we needed this. It was, that was uh, during that time. That's when I was doing any job, any job possible. Because I was just like, I, we, this mortgage is so high. I was like, what, what, what can I do? Yeah. You're not about to have me. If you want to save money, then just get Mint Mobile. That's what I say. Just get you some Mint Mobile so you, you can You say save. that in conversation? And yes, I said, Marcus, you're not going to have me up in here sweating in my house. Just get you some Mint Mobile so you can have clear quality calls <laughs> for a discounted lower price. <laughs> Okay, if saving more money mm. and spending less is on the top one of your goals for 2022, don't do it by having your, your spouse be hot and sweating in the house. Why are you paying insane prices of money, amounts of money every month for wireless? Switch it to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless. Wireless? Wireless service online only. Mint Mobile lets you maximize yeah. your savings <laughs> with plans starting at just $15. Teach, teacher. A month, huh? What is that? DSC Cinco? What is it? It's something as the sort such. Now, let me tell you, you sometimes think, oh, $15 a month, we must be like talking on a walkie-talkie. I can't hear nothing, huh? That ain't true, Angel. That's not true. It's clear quality phone calls, huh? And then you're like, well, why am I, if I can hear it's good, yeah. huh? If the reception is pristine, uh -huh, huh? Cause uh -huh. I can hear what my friend is saying and my friend can hear what I'm saying. That's it. Then why am I paying astronomical prices? I've been asking huh? that. Uh, this I, is, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That, uh, Mint Mobile is just the tithe of your current uh, 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 phone bill prices, huh? That's just a tithe. It's huh? just a tithe. $15? Just a fraction. It ain't number little 15. I spent more than $15 in, uh, in, in, in three days at the coffee shop. And I could do the same with Mint Mobile. Yes, Amen. yes, yes. For people looking for extra savings this year, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. Premium is what I said. That's what you said and that's what you meant. Huh? By going online and eliminating the traditional cost of retail. You ain't paying nothing but the name, Angel. That's really? all you're paying for? That's all you're paying for. Mint Mobile passes significant savings on to who? You. On to you. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Oh, yeah, that's 5G. You 5G. can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan yeah, and keep your network. same phone number got along. Got to keep my number, Angel. Can't yeah. change you it. You ain't got to change it ever. With your existing contacts. <laughs> With Mint Mobile <laughs> choosing the amount of monthly data. I love this church. That's right for you. And yeah. stop paying for data that you never use. Why are you paying right. for it if you ain't going to use it? Uh -huh. That don't make a, 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 a lick of sense. It don't make no sense. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just $15. Ain't number a little 15. So like 15 bucks a month, they man. You got that? To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. mintmobile.com slash SK. SK. That's mintmobile.com slash SK. SK. You're going to cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash SK. Ain't SK. number little 15. Mm -hmm. And while you're saving money. Moving on. Angel, you didn't watch the Kanye documentary, did you? No, I haven't had time, okay. but I, I'm, Ooh, I'm excited to. Uh, let me tell you what. As a person who uh, has felt like the industry doesn't want you, that part of that documentary, like that Kanye is like, man, this is the Kanye we love in you. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had never seen video of his mom speaking, but his mom and his relationship is like, at that time, basically nobody believed in him outside of his him being a producer. Mm -hmm. uh, this is well documented, and the documentary shows more of him trying Pelsicuti to get laid on. And yes. 
Uh, but his mom was like, ooh, I like that rap that you did. That's what Josh said. Mm. I like that one. Ooh, that a nice chain. And you could tell that she was just like, and mm. she bought him all his first music stuff and all that type of stuff. And um, it was really heartwarming to see him and his mom's relationship and then like see young, ambitious Kanye uh, like fully believing in himself. It's almost harder to become a rapper if you already are good at one thing. You mm -hmm. know, people just be like, okay, you do that yeah. thing. And then nobody. I think uh, the next episode comes out tomorrow. Does it? Or today Ooh, when it comes. It's a trilogy. It. Mm. It's yeah. a trilogy. It's weekly. I think. Josh showed me this thing that he, he Apple offered him $100 million to release Donda. Donda 2. Donda 2 on Apple Music. He turned it down. He has his own. Well, tell him, tell and him, I Josh. Think they, they were supposed to stream it, too, because he has a, a listening event tonight, I believe, in Miami. Mm -hmm. um, and Apple Music was going to have the exclusive release, and I think they were going to stream it. Mm -hmm. That whole package deal was going to be a hundred million dollars, and he said no. Uh, he's going to release it, release it on his stem player, even though I feel like they're going to st stream it regardless. Um, the listening portion of it that's in Miami, I think they're going to put that on plop or just on like an Amazon thing, or Live Nation is going to do it somehow. I don't know. Anyway, stem player, it's like this little. I'm holding the thing. Uh -huh. It literally looks like this circle. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's his from Yeezy Tech because he has a tech company as well. Uh -huh. uh, and you're going to be able to listen to it on that. That is charging $200 for the stem player, though. Wow. I didn't already buy one. You I wouldn't even think about spending $200 on that. But I think mine comes in Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna make a killing off of that if it's two hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Let me look up look how many he sold in like an hour. As a as a music lover, he might create another generation of producers because you can like you can strip the audio and just go music. You can go uh, vocals and drums only. Vocals in uh, it's like a little sequencer. It's like it it can almost create its own beats out of the music. Man, do you have to make music for that? No, do they I don't the know. I think it automatically, however people upload their music to it, um, it automatically does it for you. It doesn't completely uh, take it out. I think it just cuts the frequency. So you might Got hear it. it like faintly. Listen, Angelica missed her longtime stage crew member, mm -hmm. uh, the longest uh, outside of Jamia. She said, I feel like we're in an abusive relationship with Kanye. He'd be winning us back with the past stuff. And I'd be <laughs> like, yes. So just for reference, as of one day ago, he sold... 10,000 STEM players in three days. So that's about $2 million, I think. Not 200,000. What are you going to say, 200,000? That's what my mind said. <laughs> um, hey, how many? 10,000 at 200? 10,000 in three days. And I think more will sell after. That's 2 million? That's 2 million. You got to take those. Uh, you gotta you gotta, those well, you got to put the rest of the zeros. You got to throw those zeros together. Those zeros you got the two zeros at the end? I think so. Yeah, plop them in. I'll be doing it on my own thing. 10,000 times. Okay, so mine is saying two million. Yes, that's what we six, said. You got the yeah. six zero. Yeah, there you go. I um, while Kanye's personal life, as far as in the foolishness with him in his like family, the family that he is married into, and all that stuff, and all in the presidency stuff, I'm not interested in. But are you still stuck on that math problem? I just was like, can't, I can't sell ten thousand of something at two hundred dollars. You definitely could. Are you kidding me? Now, the, you the one that listen, listen. You could easily. That's why we would say to sell that dang sweatshirt, man. Hmm. Not, not just that. Not just that. Your when you were planning on going back on the road. Anyway, <laughs> I am interested. I love the backstory. Josh, I sent you something. I, I love the backstory it. I'm trying to decide. of artists and like what created them to be, especially because at one point in time, I really did respect Kanye as an artist, especially as a producer. When I, uh, uh, All Falls Down is one of my uh, favorite of his, the one that they were playing yep. in that clip. But then the song that Just to Get By that he did with uh, yep. Talib. I was like, you did this? Man, that two <laughs> words and family business. Man, two words was great. Most deaf? Most definitely was great. <clears throat> Interesting. Moving on. I'm that was just a quick aside. Shout Scarface, but I'm glad he didn't end up. Oh, man. It was, that part was so funny. He was like, yeah, man, I'm going to write something. Bye. 
It's hot. He just, what else you got? He just <laughs> left with the notebook. All right. Uh, Angel. Yes. This married couple uh-huh. living in separate New York City apartments say it's done wonders to the relationship. The quick, the quick run up of it is this. They had been married six, seven years. They had ran through a rough patch. They decided to try to s- travel the world together prior to the, p- prior to the pandemic to revitalize the relationship. That didn't work. When the pandemic started, they moved back in, obviously, started struggling. And the lady wasn't working. Husband was working from home, waiting for her to come home every day. Mm-hmm. Then mm-hmm. what happened was she decided she needed something more in life, her mm-hmm. own thing. Mm-hmm. And she moved out. She got a corporate job. She got a job. Enough money to have her own place. Mm-hmm. She moved 15 minutes from him. They got their own apartments, one in the East Village, one in the Upper West Side. And I- they said that... This has revitalized their relationship. Yeah. My question to you. No, you missed. Okay, go ahead. No, because I'll answer. Oh, it's second. a maximum of three years that they said. Yeah, they said only for three. Only for three years. What I miss? That prior to the pandemic, before they moved out from each other, they were like, you know what? Let's just quit our jobs and travel the world yeah. for a year. I said that. Oh, I didn't. I didn't think you. I didn't. I'm sorry. No, I, I said that. You, I'm sorry. But then the pandemic came and they were. Then they couldn't do okay. that anymore. No so they I thought back. you said they had moved out. Sorry, no, I didn't hear you say. Maybe travel. I missed it. But I thought I said it in my mind. I thought I said it. I did not hear, but that does not mean you didn't say it because I don't hear. Okay, but what do I think? They live a different life than me just off of that alone. Just off of some of the choices that they can make. Just off the fact that they can afford to live separate in New York. That's literally the first thing I thought about. I said, oh, y'all live a different life. Yeah. In that part of New York. They that ain't 585 angel. And it's not even it's not even 1200 with free roaches. You yeah. hear me? It's it's going to be like 3000 with free rats that are the <laughs> size of, of of wild cats, okay? Um <sighs> So already there is a disconnect for me yeah. cuz I'm like, "Wait a second. Yes. What universe are you all in? 15 minutes away? 15 minutes away. It's Spencer's of New York. Yes. Um, and I forgot to say this. They said they go on dates two or three times a week and they do have sleepovers, but yes. they do not live together. Yes, they have sleep. She was like, now I miss him and it's helping to grow my love. I listen, one, my hats off to them for even trying this hard, even though I, and some people wouldn't think this was trying because if I'm like, I need to move out from you, <laughs> then I'm not trying for us anymore. <laughs> it is over. It would not work for me and Marcus. Like Marcus doesn't want my stuff to live with him. <laughs> he would only do this agreement. Put your stuff in a different apartment. You oh only God. bring yourself here. You sit with me. <laughs> you eat with me. We sleep together. But don't bring that nan thing that belongs to you over here. <laughs> not one of your three Christmas trees. Yeah. Don't bring none of your. And even <laughs> the kids would probably be like, why do they, do they have to be here? So I don't know how in the world that would work in any universe I have ever traveled in. Yeah. But if it works for them, I can't knock it. But I. I'm not even thinking about the faithful part. Like, yeah, how in the world are you trusted? I'm not even thinking about that part. It just logically does not make sense for me. Terry Crews has a, uh, I, I saw an architectural digest. He has a, cause there was a moment in time where I was looking at all these people's houses. Just, it was during the pandemic, actually at the very beginning. I was watching more content than I ever had. But anyway, he has his own apartment. He doesn't live there. He has his own apartment downtown. That he can just go chill, relax, work, write, take a break from his sets before he, if he doesn't want to go all the way home. And I was watching the video. Melissa was like, oh, you think you finna just have you a little. Oh, you just want to make enough money to go and have you a little. I was just, I, I just watching various architectural <laughs> digest videos. I don't, videos. I don't want, I didn't want to go nowhere. What I would like, uh, this is my dream house. I would love and L.A. has a lot of these. They have uh, guest houses mm-hmm. that people can outfit different ways. I'd love a little guest house that had uh, my instruments and, like, recording space. Yeah. But I don't think in my current marriage with my wife of my life, for me, it would not work very much <laughs> to go to my own personal home. Because you, you, you're goes, saying your wife, but I'm saying for you. No, for me, Kevin, yes. with my wife. No, 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 no. You're telling me based off of the fact that Melissa 
is like, no. No, I'm, no, I'm saying for me, even oh, okay. if not, 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 in, nothing to do with her. Even if she said this is okay, I would be like, but, but on Tuesdays, I like, <laughs> I do like you on Tuesdays as well. I know Patrick uh, Houston has said he would love to marry someone and not have kids, and also you live next door, mm. but not. I mean, I can see, I can understand it. L listen, I can't do that. <laughs> No. What is it that makes it impossible for you? Um, I, I want to be around my husband. Listen, like I'm actually thinking about that. Like, do I want to be around him? No, I do. I want to be around my husband. There is an enjoyment that we have. Like, I don't even like to sleep in the bed until he gets in the bed. Really? Yes, it frustrates him so much because he'll be still up watching TV and I'll get a cover and lay on the couch. He'll be like, just go to bed. I'm like, you're not in the bed. No, that's so sweet, Angel. He, he hates it. What? <laughs> Is that why you'd be falling asleep 10 minutes into it? Yeah. Yes. My body's like, oh, it's nap time. He hates it because he doesn't like having to wake me up. And I'm like, no. <laughs> so do you get mad if he leaves you down there? Oh, yes. Wake me up. <laughs> Wake me up before you go. You take me to All the bed. All these women in the stage crew saying they, they is the same way. Yeah, I'd be like, I don't want to sleep in the bed without you in the bed with me. That was one of, one of the worst parts of having uh, COVID over Christmas mm -hmm. was that I was in the bed by myself. I mean, part of it was great, too. But... <laughs> Part of it was great because the only time I got to sleep by myself was on tour in a hotel room, which is fine because it's not my bed. Yeah. So it's like I don't need that body uh, beside me. But I was just like, oh, so I was taking his pillows so I could have his smell near me and stuff. Oh, put all that vid on them pillows too. <laughs> you had to disinfect all of them. <laughs> but that's the, the like I also <clears throat> the one part that I'm not going to sit here and try to pretend because Marcus worked out of the house for so long. He was gone for most of the day so it's not the day daily activity that i'd be like i need it it's yeah. that night time where is you where is your body melissa always says when i'm on the road she has a she has more difficulty falling asleep if i'm not there um but i'd be falling asleep before her all the time mm -hmm. i'd be in that bed we'd be in there trying to watch um whatever it is. And I'd be like, this is a great television program. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I like to do, I'm going to watch it through my eyelids. Yes. Because I, I so want to comment on the sensory, right? Because I mm -hmm. like to go audio. I'd be really telling myself that sometime. I'm going to just listen to it. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. I heard, I heard it. it. I heard what it said. <laughs> and she always puts her feet on me. We were we were talking about this. Um, the one thing that I enjoy about being on tour, the only good thing about being away from her is I can control the temperature. Oh. And I can have it be cold. And that is the blessing of life. The winter time is very tough for me because my wife already is cold. So she and she up. was like, she loves to turn the heat on when I'm not. What's like her aware. normal? Without me or just if she, can. she no would probably go 77 was... easily. <laughs> 77, 78. Dead. <laughs> if I'm not dead. there. That's why I have a fan on my side of the bed. To counteract the heat. Does that help? It's like me when I'm pregnant. Yeah, it does. If it helps, it feels like somebody's breathing on you with hot air and somebody has hot air and a piece of ice in their mouth yeah, and then they're breathe. breathing, breathing on you. Oh, yeah. So you need one, a fan. <laughs> one side is like, and I just try to put my face towards the fan, you know, but it is hard in the winter time. That's why I'm glad Marcus didn't put on weight because it helps. Because then he, then he wants the temperature close to me. I need it. He's not used to carrying as much extra like meat and body fat on his body as I am. So I am an incubator. So I'd be like, it is hot. What is this? He's like, Angel is 72. No, it's not. No, it's not. I feel like 72 is is a reasonable. 72 is a perfect day. It is. When you go outside at 72, it it's a it great day. It was 72 day. yesterday outside. It's great. And it was phenomenal. But Melissa is never warm. She is never warm. You got to buy her like a really cute insulated like one. I need to get that weighted blanket. Oh, yeah. Them weighted blankets are difficult to deal with. But yeah. Yeah. I heard they put you to sleep and they'd be like, yeah, go to sleep. And you might not wake up until three <laughs> like, yes. the next day. But I can't. I can't. It is. It is. Man. I. I Ima listen. Imagine having as many kids as I didn't had. 
So my hormones are like, rah, rah, rah. and so I am like a preheat oven, yeah. right? Like yeah. I have no idea what I'm about to heat up to, but it's going to happen. So when Marcus and Marcus is more so thinking about cost, mm. he's like, and then you have it up this high, I mean, this low, then the electricity bill is going to be all crazy. And I'm like, I don't care. Let me go on Skillshare and see if I can do something right. to help me pay for this mortgage. And let me tell you, the type of stuff they teach you on Skillshare is something that you can either keep as well, a they hobby. they teach you, Angel? You can either keep it as a hobby like or you can go ahead and monetize it. You hear me? You fear, man. Because <laughs> at that time, I was making jewelry. I was knitting. I was crocheting. Listen, I was like, what can I make and sell for money? <laughs> Well, Skillshare is an online community, a uh, learning community <clears throat> that offers memberships with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Skillshare can help you make 2022 a year of new learning, growth, and connection through creativity. So let me tell you two of the classes that I've taken. There's a class that I took on um, making your own what do you call it? Making your own uh, vision board that I cannot get over how much it made the vision board process so much easier for me. And the fact that I am in love with this vision board, the woman took me through all these like exercises about like what I want for myself, how I feel about my own personal growth. And I had no idea that like I was like, didn't feel that I had the type of personal growth that I wanted. But I'm going to tell you the name of her class. I also recently took this class on TikTok because I be feeling old and I cannot figure out how to do stuff. First of all, the uh, what is a vision board is a class I took. It's by Jamie Smith. I also um, was taking this one class called Creating Your Anti-Vision, which is kind of weird. But it was just like sometimes you got to know what type of life you don't want to be able to focus on the life that you do want. And that one is by Michelle B., but they also have some really dope top creator classes as well that the people that they have, especially come on Black History Month. There's one by Nidra uh, Tawab called Reach Your Goal: Seven Personal Develop Exercises to Build the Life You Love. But all the classes that I have taken have been amazing. The TikTok class that I took. I didn't know I was doing something wrong on TikTok this entire time. Y'all see, I done put up a whole bunch of TikToks because now I know how to edit <laughs> on TikTok. I didn't know what to do at first. I was like, this doesn't make any sense. Um, but truly, the classes don't take up a lot of time. You can take them wherever you uh, want to take them. And they do have a lot of meaning. Truly, that vision board one changed my whole entire life. Like, I'm so focused on personal development now, personal development now because of that vision board. Whether you are a dabbler or a pro, a hobbyist or a master, you're creative. Discover what you, discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. Experience real life improvement with hands-on projects and classes designed for real life. If you have an audience that could benefit from subtitles, you can also, let me tell you, we do have some people that are not from the U.S. that speak other languages. The uh, Skillshare offers uh, a catalog of classes that now have subtitles. So that's, they have it in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and Dutch. They actually have classes from all over the world, over 150 different countries. So explore your creativity at Skillshare.com slash SK. 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 And get a one month free trial. That's a one month free trial at Skillshare.com slash SK. SK. Explore your creativity at Skillshare.com slash SK. SK. And get a one month free trial. That's one month free at Skillshare.com slash SK. SK. Save your arteries. Let's bring that cholesterol down amen let's do something good for the planet it's new year new eggs that's the thing people say right huh new year new eggs i guess it is amen. i've heard that so many times mm, they say it all the time the youngsters in the middle schools and the high school that's what mm. they say new year new egg because they know the new you doesn't do cholesterol in their omelets why because you ain't got to this new you doesn't contribute to the industrial egg industry mega polluting impact on the world. The new you wants a breakfast that does good and actually tastes good. That's where our next sponsor, Just Egg, huh? Yeah, Just Egg! 
Just Egg is a cholesterol-free, plant-based egg that will give you the most decadent quiches of your life, the fluffiest scrambles, and the easiest egg sandwich of all time. It has about the same protein as a chicken egg and less saturated fat. Plus, Just Egg is packed with tea, cholesterol lowering poly unsaturated fat. Uh, <laughs> in the Greek, they say polyoshanda. Chicken eggs wish they were this healthy. <laughs> oh, and because just say it comes from plants, you're also helping to save the planet. So that's nice if you're into the whole saving the environment thing. Let me tell you, I actually truly love just say I'm talking about come up out of this ad. Angel likes just think a lot. I was cooking the mess out of them things. I was buying bottle by bottle, shaking them up, throwing them in the skillet. Oh, they are so delicious. I'm telling you, you uh, if you bougie and you like a good avocado toast. Oh, love a good avocado. Oh, good little avocado. You put it in the skillet. Uh, you put the little egg in the skillet. Plop it on the avocado toast. Maybe put a little tomato, season it up. Oh, my God, today. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Show off the new cholesterol free you by buying a bottle of Just Egg today and doing the planet a solid all at the same time. Just Egg. Really good eggs. Amen. Back to you, Pastor. So, moving on. The Los Angeles Rams had won the football championship game. And they had them a little bit of a parade, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Josh, you got to put this video in here. So, in the thing, the photographer was standing on this thing. Oh, Jesus. And she fell off, oh, God. right? Mm -hmm. Fell off. And Matt Stafford, he, he turned away like, whoop, couldn't have it me, though, uh -huh. right? So, everybody was mad at Matt Stafford for that. So, somebody tweeted about it, and she responded was like, yeah, I fractured my spine, mm -hmm. right? Everybody going off on Matt Stafford and his wife, getting mad at him. Lo and behold, I don't know who, how, or when, where, or why. Do you think these are true? Yes. No, oh, well, she was going ham. Some, her name was Kelly Smiley. Tweeter, tweeter name. The tweeter name was Kelly Smiley 23. Somebody decided, you know, while everybody's loving you, let me just go... Let me go check and see if you said nigga. Mm. Uh, <laughs> now on Twitter, you can search somebody's name, name yeah. and then just put, and and lo and behold, she said nigga like she was Joe Rogan. Oh, okay. my God, today. Back in 2013, she was, I mean, she just nigga this. She was. Nigga that. Uh, a lot of it. Nigga let her eat cat in a hat. I mean, she <laughs> said it so many times around 2013, 2014. To the point where they bullied her off the internet, oh. and what it it the thing that is interesting they to me off the, <laughs> off the internet like she was bullied off of that stage. <laughs> she was in the arms of the angels. The way this <laughs> she is what disappeared. Understand about the internet? What it, and I'm not even talking about her using the word. What is it about her falling off that thing that made somebody be like, "Before I jump on your side, of course." <laughs> Did you say nigga? <laughs> Did you say it? I have a feel the way you felt felt like a felt like a woman who got nigga on her tongue all the time. <laughs> that was a nigga love saying fall. Oh my god! Like ooh, it was a what made mm, some about how she fell. It was, she, it was on the thing for two <laughs> seconds. Somebody was like, "It looked like a nigga fall from <laughs> me." Did. That looked like she was heavy, heavy from all them niggas saved up in her chest that she was gonna <laughs> fire off. And it's just baffling to me why, I mean, if you've been on Twitter for a long time and you did, and you never thought you were going to be anything, you likely said some stupid stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Regardless, I said some stupid stuff and I've, I've checked my Twitter. Kevin had to help me find one <laughs> at the airport. You remember? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I said, you know what? I said something that I think could be offensive. I don't think could I erased that offensive. one. offensive. It was very funny to me at the time. <laughs> And it was very funny to the people who responded. Yeah. But let's take it off. But nine, ten years. You know how fast technology moves oh, and language? Man. Faster than being politically correct. Literally, like, we were joking about uh, <laughs> that She's All That movie. I don't know that you can make that movie today. Oh, no. People would be like, come on. This is sexist. Yeah. She's only valuable if she's conventionally beautiful. And also, let's just go back to She's All That. 
it, it's a Superman uh, Clark yeah. Kent thing. The girl she, look, she <laughs> were glasses that much of a thing? It's like putting on magnetic lashes. I, oh my God. <laughs> I She's mean, amazing now. You named her Lainey Boggs, but anybody with eyes, it wasn't like she took the glasses off and was like, oh my gosh. Right. Girl, you look like the person you had with poor vision. Yes. yes. Why were we like, why did we as a group of teens accept this movie as... That's why I said it was terrible for somebody like me who when I took the glasses off, well, no, you still look now the you're same. Just like <laughs> you still look like the same church girl in Walmart clothes. Nothing has changed. Ah! Oh, by hair. the way, there's a TikTok uh, filter. You can turn your, if you have brown eyes, you can turn them green. And I wanted to put my, uh, see what I, show people what I used to look like, but I never had green. I had hazel. I had the hazel color. Right. Contact. No, Kevin, this weekend, I there's one on uh, Instagram too. And I was like, if they had the blue one, I'd be able to show these folk like how I look like a god dang on Avatar. <laughs> With these, it's electric, boogie, woogie, woogie, <laughs> blue contacts. Why did you pick an eye that you could not naturally have had? Because. <laughs> what was you doing wearing blue eyes? Being a cute. Blinking heavy. That was the, the uh, she's, she's, whatever the movie was, she's so all right. She's she, all that. <laughs> she's, she's so, so all, right. all right. She's so all right and going to be was, all right. It was take off the glasses, throw in the blue contacts and some oh, highlights. Oh, my God. I had the, I, <laughs> I had the John DeSazel contacts too. Looking like we've been by a radioactive oh my plant. God. Listen, give them triple set. I take them glasses off and look the same except cross eye. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to you. I was Boy, like, it don't work. I was killing them with them hazel contacts, blinking a lot. <laughs> uh, bloodshot. Playing, stupid. <laughs> playing the drums with the contacts. Uh, sliding that's up why my, you fell off those drums. Sliding up my <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine how sleazy of a guy you were with those. <laughs> you know I sold them. I sold lemons off the lot. This car I never had no problem. Sir, the engine only goes seven miles and it does. You already bought it. I mean, the worst part is I thought I was killing them. There is nothing we worse. We all did. The, in the moment we were. That's the thing yeah. about fashion. In the moment we were. Everybody I, was doing it. I was keeping my eyes little. Angel, I remember we came into this show. We went to a 3.30 service, and I was just. <laughs> no, Kevin, yes, please I was. see I was. Why are you blinking and biting? <laughs> I cannot take it. I had my Stop. little, had my little snare and my sticks. <laughs> Y'all want to praise God or what's up? Y'all finna <laughs> go to Old Country Buffet after this? <laughs> That's different. Girls, we be <laughs> eyes open like a goddamn old Disney princess. <laughs> Contact gonna dry out because you gotta blink. <laughs> they gonna pop out your oh face. Oh my God. Huh? Are those your eyes? <laughs> yes. How's you getting that to your mom and dad? Both have eyes of coal. <laughs> I, and we just learned the genealogy little right. square thing. Yeah. No. All your parents, I seen your whole family. Everybody in your family has brown eyes. Yeah, we these go back to my yes. great granddad, Blue Eye Charlie. <laughs> what colors you have, honey mustard? Because <laughs> that's what them got dang old hazel look like. Like honey mustard uh, Chick fil A sauce <laughs> was splashed on your iris. That's what it looked like we had. Looking stupid. Looking like them kids from Twilight. Yes. Oh, they my They should gosh. have been rebuking us. You got them demons up in you. But, yeah. Yeah, no, they need to put the uh, hazel on there so we can really show. But yeah, I did do the I'm green. I'm looking for hazel. If and I the, find hazel, I'm going to show you what I look like. You're going to bring the, uh, the braids back? Why don't we just go get hazel contacts? I, I don't even fin put that on my LASIK. <laughs> can you just order them? You can just order them? Yeah, you can get them downtown. Shoot, people just be getting contacts. You could go to any place and get some hazel contacts. I never even thought They of, look I better I now, though. They didn't do that. Yo, we would, they might as well sell these at 7 <laughs> right. Eleven. These were probably not good for our eyes at all. First of all, you could see the pixels. <laughs> you could see, it was like, uh, what's that? Minecraft blocks. Oh, no. <laughs> 
on the god dang on lenses. You could see the blocks of color. Oh my god. <laughs> Hot Coco Mama said they gave me tunnel vision and killed my peripheral. Oh no. Because <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You looking through my <laughs> Yeah, looking anyway, through. what y'all, y'all finna go to Old Country Buffet? You like your inner demon is looking through. You know how they show that like on a movie? <laughs> finna get socked out from the side because you ain't got no peripheral. Right. No, we gonna get these contacts. Oh, we, got to, we got to get these contacts and wear them for a show. I won't be able to see. It gotta be a bonus because I ain't gonna be able to read no ads. Listen, that I, I'm all in for this. Josh, you never did that. This is when you were born in 93. No, I saw them. They were around. I just never... I never asked for anything as a kid because we didn't have money. So we I gotta just, see Josh oh no, with was, some green in. I, I had my own money. We gotta, at the, we we gotta like, see no. you with some blue or green, no Josh. Man. Josh, lick your lips and put them in. <laughs> They ain't going to be able to take you, Josh. I can just tell you right now. You thought that a man bun would kill him. Joshy with, Joshy with baby blue eyes? <laughs> uh, I ain't never seen no Mexican no with blue eyes. Oh, baby supposed to have blue? baby blue eyes. We got that, dark eyes, dark hair. Yeah, that's what this was really going to kill I'm him. Oh, remember, my God. I, I don't think I've ever seen a Mexican people with, with green eyes. They have green eyes like that? Uh, light brown I've seen. I, I don't know no, about light. Green. I've seen a lot of light brown. I haven't seen green. Well, that's why we got to get either green or blue, Josh. Come on. You got to kill him. Baby blue eyes? My homegirl used to wear purple eyes. And I'm like, yes. people don't even have that. Yes. People do have blue eyes. Purple. Black people t- traditionally don't. No one has purple eyes. I'm trying eyes. to think. Did I ever get the violet? They were violet. They weren't purple. I mean, because I went through the spectrum of because I had to wear contacts to see. So getting them in color was just a treat on top. If did I'm you go- have? Did you still keep your glasses with you? Um, at home, no. or did you just take your contacts off and go to bed? What did you mean taking contacts off? Them things, I just slept in them. Oh, oh man, me no. too. I, I, my <laughs> eye doctor was like, one of the reasons I got laces, she was like, you are going to go blind. That's why I got laces. Because I was like, I'm tired. Because once I got the leave-ins, you supposed to leave before the day. I was like, or the month? Oh, yes. <laughs> or the, no. But the I'm thing not... is, when you first got them, were you terrified of leaving them in? I don't remember that far I back. was, when I first got them, I was, first of all, it took me 30 minutes to get my contacts in. My How eyes old were you? Bo- uh, this is probably my first year of college, so I was I'll see. 18. So that picture I showed you, that year. You had contacts as a child? Yes, I started wearing glasses in the first grade. Oh, Okay, let's let's start there. That's why I'm telling you, she's got to have it or whatever the hell the movie is. She's so all right. That, <laughs> I was like, that is not true. <laughs> she wouldn't even see herself to know that she's cute if she took off her glasses. So I have been wearing contacts. I got contacts. So the, either that picture I showed you showed you of me was either in sixth or seventh grade. But in seventh grade is when I switched over to contacts. Really? Yes. Oh, I, I couldn't have done it as a child. My oh. hands were always dirty. Oh, by the time. <laughs> I can get them things in. Flick them up. Catch it in my eyeball. <laughs> That's how good. <laughs> That's how good I had gotten by that time. But then I had to get the LASIK because my I was just getting chronic eye infection. Oh, oh, like, if I took my contacts out at night, <laughs> there was like, no way from? I could put them back in. I would, have eye to, I would have to start off with another new set of contacts. Really? Like the contacts had to be so pure in my eyes <laughs> that if I took them out overnight and then like tried to clean them like with the solution and put them back in, my eyes would be bloodshot red, burning. So I said, y'all go ahead and cut these eyeballs. Cut them so I can see. Andrew That's was patient thing. zero. Oh, yeah. You got LASIK early. No, they had, LASIK had been around for about, I got it in 2006. LASIK had been around for at least, I think, close to a decade. Yeah, yeah. They started in the late 90s. Yeah, so I had, um, <clears throat> I got the one where they stopped using the blade. Yep, they went to the laser? Yes, because I was like, I ain't doing that. It looked like you cutting um, the lunch meat, cold cut. That is exactly what they do to your eye. <laughs> yes. I they was slice like, you a little turkey slice off <laughs> and throw that away, and then your eye's like, oh, sweet. sweet. I don't understand the technology. Well, they don't throw it away. They flip it down. They reshape your eyeball, and then they put the flap back on and smooth it, and it it, it, it heals. I, I watched my video when they did it to me, and I was just like, this I is threw crazy. Up. Huh? I would have threw up. Oh, it was gross. Also, I always think about this. Who was the first person exactly that was like, bro, listen, I'm going to cut your eye open with the razor mm-hmm. because this was before laser, mm-hmm. and I'm going I'm to scratch it. In various places, and then you're gonna be able to see the first person who got on a plane, and the first person who got the the COVID vaccine is that type of person. That same 
spirit of Dog. I will lead the way. Even contact. Somebody was like, "You see, y'all thinking small. You putting the glasses on. I'm putting the glasses That's in." <laughs> and they used to be glass. <laughs> glass. They used to. They could break in your <laughs> eye and just slice your eyeball up. And people used to wear like, yes, I'm going to put a piece of glass in my eye. Because glasses, when you really can't see, when you have bad vision like I did, you are like, what? it can't be worse than this. That's true. Waking up blind. Man. That's the reason why I would go to sleep in my contacts. I want to wake up and see. Yeah, and my eyes just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And when I was in college, I just, I didn't realize I needed glasses until I got to college because I was in like a, I think my first lecture, my first day in college, my first lecture was in like, Seven eight hundred people, Kane Hall Auditorium at UW, and I was like, "Oh my God, I cannot read this! I cannot read! I don't know what this guy wrote down." Uh-huh. Went and got glasses. I used to only put them on every when I was in the classes that far back. I used to not have to use them to play basketball, and then I was like, "Okay, it should probably be easier if I keep them on all the time because <laughs> sometimes the blurriness begin a headache." And then that prescription just kept getting higher and higher. Mm-hmm. It was negative four point by the end. Oh, that's cute. I had double digits before the, uh, the Angel. I was, I was I remember asking the doctor, so what am I like on the 2020 scale? He was like, you're not on there. <laughs> he was like, no, <laughs> literally things will go out of focus right here. That Anything close to your that, face? Right here, out of focus. Angel, you really needed glasses. Listen, when I was online, when I was pledging and yeah. big sisters would come in, they were like, greet me. Don't know who you are because they wouldn't let me wear my contacts on my glasses why because they didn't want anything to like they were like uh we don't want one uh if we do anything we don't want your glasses to fall off or get broken and then i don't think they realized how blind i was and i was like i don't <laughs> like greet me <laughs> if you could just come up uh, maybe a could, half inch closer come come up uh, come up closer to you me you look like if, a green baby ah got it. <laughs> baby if you Yoda. could say hello or just a little bit <laughs> A little so bit. Did they closer. think you weren't taking it seriously? Or? No, they knew I couldn't see. Oh, and then, okay. then they then they pick with me. <laughs> Who is that over there, Angel? <laughs> Could you talk? Could you say? Could you? Uh, how, how old are you? Maybe. I didn't even know the, uh, the eyes went past 10. I could not see. If, listen, I didn't know. If if somebody was saying hello, I wasn't going to know who it was unless it was Hello Fresh. That's right. Okay, because you can get for, uh, farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Skip the trips to the grocery store and count on Hello Fresh to make home cooking easy. Hello Fresh has fit and wholesome recipes for satisfying and nutritious meals that you can make, uh, feel that you can feel good about with six recipes per week to choose from, including low calorie carb conscious options customize your favorite dishes with hello fresh uh with hello custom offerings by swapping out one protein or a side for another upgrading to more uh for more luxe experience or even adding protein to a veggie meal that means more choices more variety more meals truly tailored to you y'all already know i done told y'all 18 million times how much we use hello fresh in our house that's the only way my kids are eating a home-cooked meal I am not about to put together something on my own. If HelloFresh didn't send it, we ain't eating it or I ain't cooking it. Um, And that's because the meals are really good. It does allow me to focus on the things that I'm good at, like preparing or coming up and being creative for really good meals for my kids is just not my zone of genius. It's not. I don't even it's my zone of competence. It's not even my zone of excellence. Well, it is Hello Fresh's zone of genius. So I allow them to ship me these wonderful meals that I'm gonna tell you right now, there has not been one meal. No lie. Again, you can pull me up out of this ad. There has been not one meal that we have cooked that my kids have not liked. And those are the ones that like I really want stuff that they'll like because I do want their palate as they grow up to be more than just baked chicken, broccoli and rice. Now they're getting a plethora of different foods and their um, palate is getting more versatile and the food is really good. So I love it. HelloFresh is 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal, the same quality. And you can save on average over $65 a month when you order HelloFresh instead of grocery shopping. That's money back in your pocket. 
Also, if you didn't know this, Green Chef <clears throat> is now owned by HelloFresh. So now you get a wider array of uh, meals to choose from. So there's something for everyone. And you can switch back and forth between brands. And our listeners can enjoy both brands at a discount on us. Go to HelloFresh.com slash SK16. SK16. Use code SK16. SK16. For up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Go to HelloFresh.com slash SK16. SK16. Use code SK16. SK16. For up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. America's number one meal account. All right. Uh, I forgot to mention this when we were talking about the Olympics. But this uh, Russian skater. Oh, my. Named Kamila Valieva tested positive for a performance enhancing drug during the Olympics. And by God, she was able to compete. Mm -hmm. If you remember during the Summer mm -hmm. Olympics. Uh, the qualifiers. The qualifier, Shakari Richardson, tested positive for the weed, and she was not allowed to compete. Now, it wasn't even weed. What they were saying about weed is it could be um, like a masker mm -hmm. of pain or other things. Uh -huh, but uh -huh. Shakari was like, I my I think her mom passed away. A family member passed away. I want to say her mom, but I, but don't quote me on that. And she smoked a little weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. It was a mama. Yeah, her mom passed away. She smoked a little weed. And she was banned. Or not banned. Well, I guess banned. she wasn't allowed to compete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This girl tested. And also, the girl was like 15 years old as well. Which is kind of crazy. They're giving uh, legitimately children uh, well, <clears throat> performance enhancing drugs. I'll, I'll tell you exactly. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I've heard. Tell me what you heard, this, Listen. Now, I'm not saying that racism isn't involved because racism is typically always involved. But this is not comparing apples to apples. Oh, it's not? No. This, uh, from what I was told. Now, okay. see, I, I could have been told <clears throat> wrong. <clears throat> this young girl was given, like, say, like a pill that has a bunch of other stuff in it. Mm -hmm. And one of the things in it was apparently something that. Was banned? Was banned. Okay. Okay. Now, whether or not, like, it was the girl who took it, I don't believe was aware that, once she's 15, that the substance that was in it was something that she could not have. Okay. So it was like a trainer being like, okay, or yep. here, take these vitamins, blah, blah, yep. blah, blah, blah. The difference uh, that I'm saying is Shikari, Shikari knew she was smoking weed. Yeah, she knew it. <laughs> She knew she was smoking and she weed knew it was banned. and she knew that it was banned. <clears throat> now the consequence I can get what Shikari is saying of, well, if it's wrong, it's wrong. So then we both should be disqualified. But I think what happened to this, this younger athlete happens more often than not where athletes are being given something that is a combination of things, not knowing that one of the things in there is on the ban list or about or is newly on the ban list. So did they let her compete because she didn't know? I don't know if it's like I don't because I don't know how the rules I have. I have two friends that are Olympians. Yeah, I would have to ask them, like, is there like different rules for different drugs as far mm -hmm. as in how they impact your system or whether or not you should be able to compete disqualified yeah. or something like that. So I do definitely think mm, there was racism involved, but it is not in my opinion, comparing apples to oranges or yeah. apples to apples yeah. or oranges to oranges. Russia as a whole uh, country can't even win. They, they can't, I think it's like they're called the Russian Olympic committee or something like that because they had so many athletes that were, uh, they had like a whole drug scandal, doping scandal, uh -huh. that the whole country was, they were like, y'all can't even put your flag up. Y'all can't even say, uh, uh, you just hush. Don't put nothing up. Y'all are not even regular. We're going to let a little bit of your people go. My whole thing is whether you knew it or not, usually in most sports, whether you knew it or not, because a lot of athletes say that. I'm not saying this girl said that. I'm just saying a lot of athletes are like, oh, my trainer gave it to me. Usually that helps with your punishment, mm -hmm. but it doesn't allow you to compete. Like whether you knew or not doesn't prevent you from. They saying because she was a minor, more than likely. Oh, because she was a minor, she didn't know what, what was going on? Or that she is not, I guess, as a minor, I don't. 
think she has the capability of saying yes or no to what, you know what no, I'm no, saying? No, I get that. But I still think the committee, if you break the rules as a minor, you still usually are like, why, why, why they allow her to, I'm not talking about the drug part. I'm saying, how are you allowed to compete if, you, if the substance was bad? They're also saying it's two different committees. So again, this is not apples to oranges. Well, shoot, how many committees is going on? Forget because, it. Oh girl, because Shikari was banned before she even got to the Olympics. Oh, I know. Shikari. Yeah, she was, she, they, she was, I think the trials. So she got banned by the U.S. Oh, it wasn't by the Olympic Committee, you're saying? Yes, the ah. U.S. She got kicked off of Team USA. She made it in a Drake song, too. She did. Mm -hmm. Whereas the um, the little girl. Okay, was, got it. So this is, I think this is what you're saying. Q says the U.S. doping agency suspended Shakari. They didn't let it go to the IOC. Russia doesn't care about doping, so they wouldn't dare. They encourage it. The IOC is still investigating her case. So the difference is... The U.S. cared, Russia didn't care. Mm -hmm. Got it. So it's not it's 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 uh it's not the same. Okay. <clears throat> Fair. Yeah. All right. Last story of the day: the Tinder swindler, Simon Lviv, mm -hmm. <laughs> signed mm -hmm. with a Hollywood agent, Come on. and is working on getting his own dating show. Listen. Here's the thing: he will more than likely get it. And oh yeah, he will have women clamoring to be on this show. He will. Mm -hmm. Every time our our culture, American culture, we love it. Remember the bagel guy, short little dude was like, "Come on, pal, you want to go outside? I'm not scared of you." No. Remember that? He had a celebrity boxing match. <laughs> Everybody who's bad and wrong, we're like, "Let's see more of you." <laughs> people, people. We want to watch it, right? And it's like reality TV. Like, a lot of people be like, this is terrible. It makes black people look bad. And there's a lot of other people who will be like, I enjoy this. Like, I'd be seeing some reality TV clips. I'd be like, this can't even be real. And it do be real. Um, and the way Hollywood works, they don't care about morals. They care about views. They care about that money. I was telling my... Um, we were writing the script that we're working on for, for this new show for the app. And, you know, there's this whole thing about Tyler Perry. People always say, um, and I'm not even saying it's wrong or right, but they always talk about the quality of his writing. And what you, and you can debate that from here to the end of the earth. Mm -hmm. But what you can't debate is the quality of his audience mm -hmm. and their willingness to watch. Come on. And if Tyler were not successful... <clears throat> he would not have these shows on BT and movies on Netflix. The reason Hollywood is interested in this person is because they know that just like when you complain in traffic and there's a car accident, when it's your turn to drive by, we'd be like, Ooh, that thing was on fire. I'd be pissed off mm -hmm. until it's my turn. Oh, that the flipped up over. Oh, Jesus. Both the airbags air both the airbags came out? Mm. That's crazy. Like, that's how we yeah. are. Not as a whole. I mean, not individually, but as a whole. No. Them reality shows be selling. This dude, he took over my whole timeline for like a weekend, it felt like. I hadn't even heard of this documentary. The fact that um, he's back on Instagram, he, he has way more followers than he did. Oh, he's back on Instagram? Yeah. I, he, they said he was on TikTok, but he had, in the article, I didn't go back Tinder. to the channel. Uh, no, 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 no. He's on TikTok is oh, what okay. they were saying. But then they were like, well, we haven't verified if it's his account or if it's a fraud. On the thing, it said that he had disabled his Instagram, but he's back in the article. It said he, he had dis disabled it. Uh, is he back now? Honestly, I can't I find. Mean, there were so many. Of there were so many fake, fake accounts? versions of him. Yes. What type of D was this dude swinging? That's the king. crazy thing, Angel. The second girl, he didn't even give her no penis. No, that was just for, yeah, he just, he definitely had different relationships other than romantic relationships. That's yeah. for certain. He was like, when, when, the, like I said, when on the thing, he said, uh, somebody said that we, we hired him to watch our five-year-old son. I said, now, God dang, he was like, I can swindle any type of relationship possible. Uh, in that article, it said, like, in America, on dating sites, Americans have been swindled out of, like, $547 million. Oh! 
according to the FCC, Ooh. the Federal Trade Commission. <laughs> yeah. 500 million? Mm-hmm. It's got to be smaller amounts than he was asking, right? Because he was asking for like not, not 20 him grand. specifically. No, no, I know, yeah. I know. Okay. But I'm saying if, are they counting everybody? Like if I swindle somebody, hey, let me borrow 300 bucks, and then I ghost you. Yes. Does that count towards the 500 million? Yes. I can see somebody giving up 300 bucks. It was the fact that he was asking for 10 and 20 Yeah, but and 30 I don't think grand. he's the I don't think he's the um only person that has swindled that high. I don't think he You don't think so? Yeah, I don't think so. I think you just want him that got caught. Right. Listen, man, yeah. that man could sell he he actually could sell slick to a can of oil. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. And I don't maybe was it the peen or was it the personality? I think it's a little bit of both. And a little bit of being able to, what's that called? Not manipulate, but kind of like victimize somebody on a dating app that's like really searching for. Absolutely. Please. One girl said she had over a thousand matches. That's how much she be on air. And she's still on air. She's like, yes, I'm still on there. I want to love. This is not where you're going to find it, boo. <laughs> not her specifically. Other people might, but I just can't even imagine I can't imagine. I remember like in high school, like paying for my then boyfriend. If he was like, oh, I want to get a piece of you got extra cash. And that was like a million. Yeah, that was like a million dollars at the time. It was. (laughs) But I knew what it was. You know what I'm saying? Like there comes a point in time where you just hope that they know what it is. Mm -hmm. 20, 20, 20,000. Also, you have to have access to that money because the people didn't even have that money on hand. They were just able to go and get loans. Mm -hmm. I think that's what takes. I I just people were saying last time we were talking about that. He did swindle some black people. I didn't see any of the documentary. I just know for me, Kevin, you couldn't have swindled. A woman couldn't have swindled me at that time because I didn't have that money, nor would I be able to. I can't help you. My, My apartment's 585. Oh, yeah. There's no, I mean, I, I can give you this EBT card, maybe. I can give you these WIC vouchers. Like, that's all. I, there was, I, I can knit you a scarf or something like that. But, like, finding the money to help you live a lifestyle that I can't live. Yeah. But the thing is, and somebody in Patreon mentioned this, he was forging the, remember, he forged the, the uh, uh, check. That's uh, so his yeah. job to to their fake job. My family can do it. I'd be like, no, this ain't nothing new. I we <laughs> can do that. You know how many people in my family got cars that they did not qualify to have because what you need? What? How much should you make a month? Okay, <laughs> that's not nothing new. So maybe they just ain't used to. Maybe because I've had criminals in my family for so long. Love them, good at heart. Um, there's some of the stuff that I'm just like, this ain't nothing new. No, I've been oh. like, I would be like, but no, I actually need that money in my account. You going <laughs> to say I made this much? I need that money in my account just in case they come check. Man. I don't know. It's, uh, but if he has a reality TV show, I'm going to watch at least an episode because I got to hear this man. I got to see his swag in real time. Cause he was, here's the other thing. Maybe it wasn't, maybe it's the whole thing. Maybe it's the swag. Maybe it's the personality. Maybe it's the allure of the lifestyles of the rich and famous. Mm-hmm. We are all sold that rich and famous lifestyle dream from yeah. childhood. We want to fly private. We want to stay in four star hotels. Not everybody, but a lot of us want to experience that. And the one thing he delivered early on, you really get to see me live rich. We're going to the four seasons mm-hmm. everywhere. And the four seasons is not cheap. Right. Flying private is not cheap. So it wasn't like he was like, we're going to take a Greyhound, but the next time we're going private, mm-hmm. you pulling up to the Van Nuys airport. No, exactly. Now, you know it's part of my goal in life. No. Pull up to that Van Nuys. You could do it now if you I wanted to. I could. I saw a billboard, but I was like, but I can't, though, because I will. I, I don't have, I can't justify. Mm. I could fly from here to Josh's house in a, in a two-seater with propellers, and I'd be like, that's technically private. <laughs> I hate you. That's technically. Melissa and uh, from one of my birthday gifts, she bought me a a plane ride on one of them little two seaters, and we flew over to Santa Monica, and we came back down, and we had a great time. And at that time, Larry Flint landed his plane, 
And then the Clippers landed in them G5s. And I was like, can we leave? Because the, the <laughs> I real, don't want to take no the, pictures. The, the real planes are here. Larry Flint had a black plane with gold trim. Mm. And I seen DeAndre Jordan. Uh, I think it was Blake Griffin. A whole bunch of them came out. They came and got in SUVs. And we had just parked our car on the outside of the private. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how y'all doing? This is our plane over here. Our our pilot started our plane outside. With <laughs> I'm not even lying. <laughs> Hold on, we're finna get started. Uh, hit that gas three times. <laughs> I was too happy to do it. Oh no! When we left, there wasn't nobody you flying. Really had private. to push the button. No, I didn't have to do it. Oh, but he really started like, the propeller with his hand, though. Can't be teaching you flight. <laughs> he really was like, ah, oh, Bessie, come on. <laughs> I've been <laughs> like, man, I'm not getting on you. I'm not getting on that. They absolutely. Not. We felt every bump in the air. I know. It's like flying on the back of a fly. You it is. You cannot. Because you fly 737. You don't feel that no. stuff. You fly them little things. You, you like, be like. <laughs> <laughs> Are you drunk? What By the way, mean? Josh will be on this Boeing documentary. Did you watch it? No. I didn't oh, know about man. It. We couldn't me? finish. Josh told me about it. Uh, it was the case against Boeing or something it's like that? It's called Downfall. Downfall of Boeing. It was the uh, pretty much what happened with the whole 737 MAX program. Woo! I was anxious in the first five minutes. I was, I was like, oh, I'm locked. Woo! Were these planes falling apart or something in the air? They killing people? were. Two, fell. Two, two crashed. And back to everybody back in died. Like four months. Within six months? Four months. Four months. It was November to March. November, December, January, February, March. Yeah, four months. And when I tell you, it all comes back down to capitalism at the end of the day. Oh, yeah. Of course. And the crazy thing is Boeing, and I have never heard of this company. I don't. I was really surprised to see this. I said, wow. Oh, it sounded like a place that you would know. No, I'm pretty, I had yeah, worked for a place Tacoma. called Growing. <laughs> 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 we made trains. Oh, so, oh okay. Yeah, we was growing. We wanted to go. We was like on the ground. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, so was Boeing, apparently. Yeah. Man. On the ground. <laughs> They was uh that that company Boeing is it what what, what was the name of it <laughs> Boeing yeah <laughs> Boeing Boeing so they and this is just real quick me and Melissa couldn't finish it and it wasn't because it was scary about flying it was really sad that the impact to the families the, which y'all helped with that company Even the wife which the y'all pilot. I mean that's gotta be terrible to feel like you all are mass I, murderers for working it's crazy <laughs> at a company. <laughs> Never worked on that program. That 737 Max. Mm-mm. No, th- for real. I though, was 737 you, regular. Right. Y'all got and out new, that. next generation. That Max, that was a new program at the time. And I was being gone from a company. Listen, when Kev was watching YouTube videos, that's when the stuff was supposed to be going. <laughs> he was like, ah, psh, what's Dorm Tainment doing? Meanwhile, planes just falling out of the sky. No, no. They, <laughs> they didn't fall out until what, 2018, Josh? 2018, 2019? Yeah. 2018, then they traced it back in the documentary. I left 2013. <laughs> they said 2012, we had. <laughs> the I schematics. need to go back and watch my uh, I Quit Boeing thing because I was trying to hold together for that vlog. Inside, I was like, ooh, I hope you're right. <laughs> Your whole family is betting on this trip to L.A. to be right. Woo. And that, and at that time, I was making $55,000. Come on. Angel. Come on today. You might as well pay. I might as well be Pablo Escobar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I make $55,000? Y'all still count by hours? <laughs> salary. Yuck. <laughs> I got a bonus from the company. It was like 35, no, it was like five grand for Christmas. Oh, that's and we didn't have to work from Christmas to New Year's. Oh, oh come on, sexy I was like, job. I had a badge. <laughs> I had to put my badge into the computer. It wouldn't turn on without my badge. Right. It was a Dale. You know, that's corporate. <laughs> come on, that Dale, is corporate. If they don't do nothing else, they're going to give them corporate Get companies. Dale. Get it. But anyway, when I left, I was just like, whew. Cause you can't come back. Mm-hmm. They were like, you know, you ain't, this ain't no like, oh yeah, I know my people were like Marcus. He probably could be like, I'm coming mm-hmm, back. They'd yeah. be like, whoo, we needed you. Boeing was like, we don't hire yeah. nobody. You will never get this job again and give us our stuff back. And they snapped at me when I need the bag. Like, give it here and <laughs> shut it, up. Give it I here. probably would've got fired though. You I would've got fired another six months for that, that company. Oh my! But anyway, God. we love you guys. We will see you bonus. We're trying to schedule. It's looking like it might be Thursday. At some point in time. At some point in time. On Thursday. Possibly. So, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but otherwise, um, wash up.
Huh? Bunk. Just because you didn't do that much doesn't mean you shouldn't take a shower. Because I almost didn't this morning. I said, I'm not going to bring Stanky Angel. I was so tired from my plane flight. I said, I don't want to wash. But I said, I ain't going to do it to Josh and Kevin. Oh, you got to right, wash, wash that flight off you, though. I did. I washed it off my body. All right, guys. Bye. 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 Here's another thing for you. Here's another one. Here's another bang of fire. Here's another one. Here's another bang of fire. Fire. Here's another bang of fire. With my boy Kev on stage. And that chick angel.